You're right. He was in a kayak. Uh oh. You knew this was coming. You knew it was coming when he stood there and watched it, and now a warning's going to be issued. You made reference to it at the time. Yeah. Uh, and maybe it's more permissive in baseball today, but there's some guys that aren't going to go for it, and here we go. Well, David Bell is hot. Boy, is he hot. He is really hot. And some of the great all-time brawls in the history of baseball have occurred between these two teams. And Yasiel Puig is livid down there. Tanner Roark in the middle of that. Looks like some pirate has lost his hat. And uh, Stephen Brawl from the bullpen. Sprinting in. Uh, there's somebody really upset. I don't know who that player is that lost his hat. But he is some kind of bent out of shape down there. And look at Turner Ward. That looks like Keone Keller. And it was kind of funny how it, it unfolded right there because as soon as the warning was issued to Chris Archer David Bell came sprinting out of the dugout presumably either to argue that Archer should have been ejected from the game without a warning or why did you issue a warning and all it does is hurt us because we have no chance for retaliation. Well it's the first time we've seen this uh, temper of David Bell who has been very mild mannered. And then Archer kind of made a couple of steps towards Dietrich. And that's when the benches began to empty. That'd be a bad day for Archer running into Dietrich. That'd be a very bad day. And now Puig was held back for a while there, and he escapes a hold of Cabrera and Votto, and he's trying to find Archer. Now, this is not going to end well for anybody out there. Because Major League Baseball really frowns on this. Sweet by coming back into the pile like that is not doing himself any any good when it comes to playing time because the league is going to take a hard look and they may throw a suspension on him. one of the most legendary fights occurred between these two teams in 1974 that was the time that Pedro Borbon bit a member of the Pirates and uh, I know Jim Day had run down Marty Brenneman to talk about that in the pregame show today I mean Yasiel Puig really bent out of shape But David Bell is the one who as soon as the pitch was thrown behind and the issue was or the warning was issued to each team Chris said he was really hot. Well here's the home run swing and then the watch and this is what got under the pirate skin right here. So the next time he comes up the first pitch from Chris Archer. Actually, you know, in retrospect, that's really not that bad. That Bell is upset. I'm not sure if he's upset because Archer didn't get thrown out of the game or why there's a warning issued and now the Reds can't go back and throw at one of their players without being immediately tossed from the game, pitcher and manager. And then it unfolded. Puig initially got in the face of Archer, and then it was him and Cervelli. And it looked like he had been taken out of the mix. And then finally, I don't know who that is. That's he's making contact. Prince. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, all he's trying to do is keep everything peaceful. Yeah. And Puig makes contact with him. Five of them now. He made his debut out of the pen last week. Good for him. Good yeah. for Eric. Eric Swanson, Marymount High School. 
And he just tossed someone out of the game. Nick Marley has tossed David Bell, we think. Here comes Bell out of the dugout, arguing vehemently. And if it is David Bell, it's his second ejection on the short season. There was some chirping that's been going on from the Reds' dugout. Marley had heard enough. And we think has tossed David Bell. It could be Kirk Casale. I'm not sure. You know, looking in the dugout, I just saw Casale go up the runway. He might be just going to put his catcher's equipment on, but I think David Bell's out there protecting his players or at least standing up for his players. Trying to put the attention on himself rather than in that dugout. And they're barking about some of the calls that Marley's made behind the plate. Now we've seen him today and he's not had the greatest of days. David Bell's getting his money's worth. If he hasn't been tossed, he's on the verge. Well, he must have been tossed because he would be, uh, be, be tossed after that. He's coming back for more. Bench coach Freddie Benavides trying to get him back to the dugout. Take a look after this last pitch. Nick Marley says I had enough. Yep. Trying to cool down the dugout. And then finally had enough. Gone. David Bell indeed has is the one that has been tossed from the game. And what he's done here this third and fourth time through is start to hit us off with something slow and then heat him back up. He is still dialing it up at 97. Well, Winker, the Edwards with a home plate umpire to six inning. And Winker's now thrown out of the game. That's Marty Foster who throws Winker out after the call on the strike two pitch and Jesse is really upset. David Bell also has been ejected. He's trying to get to Marty Foster again. But the crew chief Ron Culp is running interference. Well, pitch number two is what it is, and that's what set Jesse Winker off. Well, you saw him say, oh, my God, is what Winker said, but he was looking straight ahead. And then Culpa jumps in between the two. And then things really got heated up. Well, Bell's going to go out there to protect his player. We, we've seen that. And I mean, he comes charging out of there as fast as any manager I've seen in a long time. You know, you can't argue balls and strikes. That'll get you an immediate ejection if you're a manager. Boom. Oh, hit Winker his teammate. Whacked his teammate. Oh, his ace. That's uh, Luis Castillo who got hit by the helmet. He apologized. I did that once. I hit my bench coach, George George Kissel. Well, when you see the veins start popping on the right side of the neck of David Bell, you know he's not real happy at the moment, and you can't blame him. Now they're popping on the left side. David's been thrown out of the game. This is the Reds' best player who just got hit with a pitch. I mean, you can sit around and talk about who the best career belongs to, but the best player on the Reds today is A. Eugenio Suarez. 
pretty famous throughout baseball. Strike three called. And some words with Curlin Dan. Curlin Dan when he threw him out of the game. Uh, David Bell's going to run out there before it gets out of hand, and he ends up doing something to cost him a couple of games. And hopefully he didn't make contact when he was pointing that finger. Well, Danley acted like he did. Uh, he actually pointed his own finger into his own chest. Puig was very upset after that first pitch. It was called a strike. It looked like it could have been inside, but it was called a strike. And Puig never recovered in that at bat after that pitch. He fouled off the second pitch to make it 0 and 2, and he was still worried about the first pitch. Belges just got rung by Kerman Danley. And now Puig tosses his bat and his helmet into the batter's box, and David Bell is going to get his money's worth. They are having to pull away Puig so that this doesn't escalate further. This is all over a strikeout. Yeah. Hit Peraza. Sure did. That was a breaking ball. And obviously no intent there. Getting him with a breaking ball. This guy's wild anyway. And, and that's why and now look David Bell's coming out and I'm sure he's saying you've given a warning to each team. And I'm sure he's asking the question if you gave a warning and a pitcher hit another batter right then why isn't he thrown out of the game now that that's what and I, I'm sure he's arguing but I'm sure the home plate umpire is just is saying. Do you really think he meant to hit him with that pitch? Look, David, David is playing the game right now. He's trying to make a young pitcher wait a long time in between batters. If he actually got the decision to throw Maples out of the ball game, it makes the Cubs use one extra pitcher going into tomorrow. And David thrown out of the game with two outs here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And boy, he is really upset. I mean, really upset. I think David is more upset right now about the Puig hit batter than he is about the breaking yeah. ball that just hit for us. That's the sixth time this year that uh, David Bell's been thrown out of a game. You got to go all the way back to Clark Griffith and back to back years in the early 1900s. A manager, and that includes guys like Lou Pinella, right? Among others. That's strike three called. And Suarez having some words with Carlos Torres, the home plate umpire. That's rare for Suarez. You don't see that very often. Well, you know, it's kind of interesting the reaction that Torres had right here. He had a funny reaction last night when Pete raised his hands to him on a check swing. When he was umpiring first base, Suarez makes a big turn after this. Whether it's a ball or a strike, you be the judge. Looking pretty good. But Torres does not seem like he's the kind of umpire that is just going to turn his shoulder away and, and put up with it. Well, lots of fireworks since we were away. Well, we showed you what was going on between Suarez and home plate umpire Carlos Torres. When Suarez was rung up on a pitch he thought was not in the strike zone, and he said something when he went by Torres on his way to third base. By the time David Bell got out, Torres had already. Already ejected a Eugenio Suarez from the ball game, so the Reds are going to be looking for another third baseman here. And David Bell got the heave ho as well. That is the seventh time that he has been ejected from a game, and it's his first year as manager of the Cincinnati Red. And that is now a record for David Bell, the most ejections for a rookie manager in history, and the most in any season by a manager of the Cincinnati Red. 19 home runs. Oh, look out. Oh, boy. There well, is a well, history. Well. There is a history between the Pirates and Dietrich. David Bell is moving very slowly to the very bottom of the dugout steps. It's the longest losing streak 
Darkness. They dropped 10 straight in 2011, and Puig can't believe that call. In fact, he throws his helmet off. And now out comes David Bell, who's going to go crazy on Larry Vanover. I thought he was going to try and stop Puig, and now he just got tossed. That was incredible. David Bell went berserk. Yasiel Puig is part of a trade to Cleveland for Trevor Bauer. And the first pitch hits him. And Jared Hughes. And he has been tossed from the game. Well, it's mandatory, mandatory that he gets out of the game now. If in the eyes of the umpire, the, the hit by pitch was intentional. And not only him, but the acting manager of the Reds, I think, is gone too, and that would be Freddie Benavides. Amir Garrett will come into the game. And now Jose Osuna will try to drive him in. Field and Jose Osuna Matata just hit another home run, another pinch hit home run. And that will put this one away if it wasn't already. There is a serious conversation going on right now. And Garrett is hot. And now there's some serious chirping coming from the Pirates dugout. And now Garrett's on his way to the dugout. And here we go. Oh! Oh, my goodness. And Amir Garrett is outnumbered. And here we go. Both sides have cleared. Punches Amir are Garrett being went thrown. flying. And they are hitting each other Punches all over the place. This is not your This usually. is a real fight. This there is not are a Dietrich involved. There are punches being thrown. Chris Archer being held back. Kyle Crick wants a piece of someone. Oh, my. This is massive. You can feel it brewing and brewing and brewing. And I'm not sure the umpires are going to be able to break up this one. Well, they're going to have to look back on this. There's David Bell who came back out of the clubhouse going after Clint Hurdle, evidently. David Bell wants a piece of Clint Hurdle. David Bell wants Hurdle. He came out of the dugout, and he's being held back by Jim Malone, the strength coach, and somebody on the Reds team. He wants Clint Hurdle. And Hurdle is now starting to bark back at David Bell. This has been brewing for months. And they got to separate this, these two teams somehow because this is not going to stop. We've mentioned before that David Bell's father was replaced by Clint Hurdle of the Rockies when Buddy Bell was let go. There will be suspensions. There will be fines. Hopefully there are no injuries. This got pretty ugly pretty quickly. And now I don't know if this is over yet. I don't either. David Bell, no, Yasiel Puig wants Crick. He doesn't even know he's a Cleveland Indian. Colin Moran is trying to hold oh. him back, and, and, and he's pushing Moran away. Chris Archer and Jose Osuna involved, and now the scrum is just kind of moving along out toward the end of the Pirates dugout. And now Kyle Crick is being held back by Joey Cora. David Bell is back out there. Let's hope there are no injuries. Now Puig is back in it, who is reportedly traded and is in the middle of the Donnybrook. What a weird night. He might be trying to tell. Hey, look, 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 right here, right here, look, 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 look. Here. Oh, now we got Puig taking. Puig wants Crick, but Crick wants nothing to do with him. Kyle Crick wants nothing to do with Puig, and who can blame him? This isn't over. And now. The scrum continues in front of the pirate dugout. This is a real Donnybrook. It's, they're throwing bats out of the out of the uh, out of the mess. That's a good idea. Get those bats out of there. This is legit. Derek Dietrich admired a home run. Chris Archer threw at him. And these two teams have been hot at each other since. Now, well, I mean, this is one. Now it's calmed big down time again. Fight. Now it's calmed down again. Don't bet on it. We. Somebody, uh, David Bell, I think, needs to tell Puig that he's an Indian. And I'm not Mus kidding. Musgrove just now got out there. He's had his gym shorts on and his sweatshirt. He's decided to come out and join things. David Bell is trying to hold Puig back. How bizarre is that? Puig is a Cleveland Indian right now and doesn't know it. Maybe he's just been told. Hey, it's an Ohio thing. He doesn't care. Now they're trying to get order restored. Amir Garrett said something and said, hush, hush, just as the pitching coach was heading out. And maybe somebody on the pirate bench barked at him, but well, the, somebody in the pirate bench was was no, got thrown out because he got thrown out of the game. Where right. it was got thrown out of the game right. for yelling at Garrett. Yeah, it was Garrett on the mound, and he was talking to Jeff Pickler, and it had enough, and this is what started. Garrett went flying in there with a punch that looked like it connected. No, nope, it missed. Luckily. Suarez, the first red there. In the bottom of your screen, you're going to see David Bell sprinting 
out of the Reds dugout, went straight for Clint Hurdle, pushed him away. Bell gets taken to the ground, put in a headlock, and really getting roughed out, roughhoused on the bottom of the pile. And when he got up, it's as mad as you will ever see. And the words directly at Clint Hurdle. Second benches clearing situation between these two teams this season. These two teams still have to play a game here tomorrow afternoon. For a hurdle got taken down, and Kamara Barti went down, the Pirates' first base coach. I'll tell you what, I, I, you know, we've always seen somebody charge the mound. How about a guy come from the mound and charge an entire team? Yeah, you don't see that very often. 